Milos, you were instrumental in the implementation of this program in Serbia. And I was wondering what trends you were seeing in that part of the world that made such a program necessary. <laughs> Well, um, according to the recent studies uh, conducted in Serbia, the most used um, illicit substance is uh, definitely marijuana. Uh, we could see that um, more than um, around about 3.4 percent of respondents stated that um, they have used it in the last one uh, at least one time in the past year. Uh, this is followed by uh, pattern type stimulant drugs, and um, uh, we have uh, emerging new trends uh, of uh, existing uh, new psychiatric control substances. Um, on a, with a treat name called uh, legal type. Uh, when we're talking about illicit, illicit psychoactive substances, alcohol and tobacco um, uses a uh, highly prominent in that particular world. So, just yeah. like in many other parts of the world, the use of alcohol, tobacco, or almost gateway drugs, into exactly. use of uh, other substances, correct? Exactly right. Uh, what is uh, worrying in the country is that uh, more than 72% of the respondents stated that they have tried at least one drink in the past 12 months. For the tobacco, they didn't even say that this is uh, really a highly concerned healthcare problem. They didn't even see it as a problem. Oh, no. So let me ask you, uh, that being the case, why did it make sense to partner with Lions Quest to address these issues? Um, the University in uh, 2013 uh, promoted international standards on drug use prevention, uh, where with the help of uh, more than 600 uh, experts um, uh, all over the world, actually, uh, the great number of drug use interventions and policies uh, were uh, evaluated, assessing with uh, effectiveness and um, actually uh, following uh, the systematic review of the literature, approximately uh, 80 uh, interventions were selected as the best one. Uh, international standards are providing a summary of all evidence uh, interventions and policies um, targeting a precisely defined uh, age group uh, such as um, from starting from infancy to adulthood and um, aiming uh, certain social structures. Uh, so how did the Quest program address some of those uh, standards as set forth by the UNODC? Lion Quest, uh, still for the elephants, uh, fits perfectly in the uh, uh, international standards for drug use prevention. Uh, more uh, specifically, precisely for the group of early adolescents, uh, for the social structure of uh, society. Now, were the government officials that you were dealing with uh, in order to implement the program, uh, were they looking for evidence-based programs, and was that part of the reason why Lion's Quest was uh, so acceptable in that part of the world? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, well, um, if, if the question would be uh, why it is really important to incorporate an evidence-based program, I would say that evidence-based uh, programs are definitely proven to be effective. Uh, if we're talking about evidence-based programs, um, these are programs that are very easy to do. If we're talking about evidence-based program, uh, they are, in most cases, are very cost-effective. So for us at the UNODC, dealing uh, mainly with the national counterparts for, uh, for this specific program, it was Ministry of Education, uh, this was actually easy for us to sell the product because the product itself. Now, I noticed in the uh, film clip that we had positive comments from both uh, the students and the, uh, the teachers as to the, uh, the manner in which the program and the benefits of the program spread beyond the child to the family, the positive feedback from the parents. And are you seeing that as a positive development and a positive trend as well in, in Serbia? Um, well, yeah. Um, the response uh, from, the, from the parents and from the people who are, who are involved in the program is uh, fantastic, really. It's very good. Um, starting from the government, the uh, government really supported this program uh, wholeheartedly, uh, specifically defining uh, uh, one uh, intersexual uh, inter um, sexual uh, working group, uh, which helped us actually to identify the needs and uh, cultural adaptation, um, uh, let's say, challenges that we face in the country because uh, this program uh, went through a very rigorous procedure of uh, being culturally uh, adapted, uh, responding to the cultural needs and uh, cultural um, patterns in the country. Um, and so, I just want to interrupt you there. So the program was adapted to meet the cultural needs, needs. both language yeah. needs and other cultural yeah. identifiers of the Serbian people? Yeah. And yeah. that was with the assistance of LCIF? That was with the assistance of LCIF, yeah. Um, uh, with, uh, we also had, um, if, you, if, you, if you saw in, uh, in the movie that we just promoted, um, also the local municipalities were very actively involved. Uh, we have uh, 14 municipalities in uh, Sydney, so 
actually the next time we're going for an additional time. So uh, if uh, what's, the, outside, what's the hurdle to the expansion at this point? Don't think that it's likely to be a resource. Not really. 